the conflict of interest plays a very big role. In this case, what I've described is the way the government compromised members of the defense team and neutralized them and turned them into people who were doing the government's, government's bidding. But you don't just see this in, in an assassinations uh, trial. You see it in everyday life. You see it in presidential politics. Let me give you an example. Bill Clinton was compromised by the Monica Lewinsky scandal. The FBI was heavily involved in that process. They gave questions to the Paula Jones attorneys and told them what questions to ask. Once the information was funneled back to them, the scandal erupted. They even went so far, together with, with Starr's team, to ask Monica Lewinsky to wear a wire into the courthouse in an attempt to inveigle the President of the United States in a plot to obstruct justice in the investigation that they had just generated. That, you talk about a covert operation. That was, a, that was a splendid example of a covert operation. Now, who was Ken Starr working for? He was a close associate of Jesse Helms with, with links to the tobacco lobby and the military industrial complex. What happened when, when the impeachment vote was about to take place? Bill Clinton, go back and, and look at the newspapers. You'll see a very interesting sequence. Right before the vote was taking place, Bill Clinton was on the verge, was, was, was heavily exposed to the media saying, We've got to think about really sending troops into Yugoslavia to stop this carnage. Right after the vote was taken and he survived, he paid off. He bombed Yugoslavia. What happened on the first day of the bombing? The Russian Duma rejected the Start True Treaty, which would have cut in half nuclear forces on both sides. And Jesse Helms' appetite for profits from Star Wars was alive and well. Because no start true, that equals, that equals um, um, Star Wars investments can be made. So you see the connection there? They leverage the guy. He pays off by giving them a war that allows NATO to expand in Europe. And that sabotages start two and opens the, opens the door for Star Wars. So the process of compromising people and using the compromised status of the, of the targets as leverage to get them to do your bidding is something that takes place at the presidential level as well. J. Edgar Hoover tried to leverage Jack Kennedy. He met with him and he said, we know all about your affair with Judith Exner. Well, Judith Exner was being used by John Kennedy to funnel CIA documents to mobster Johnny Rosselli and Sam Giancana as part of the CIA's plot against the life of Fidel Castro. So of course they knew about it. It was a government operation. They were trying to say, well, you know, it's sex, ha ha, ha ha, but you know, they knew all about it. And so Kennedy was just enraged at this attempt to compromise him and leverage him. He blew up at them. He would have fired Hoover, but he couldn't. He wouldn't back down, so they killed him. But how did that take place? What happened? Kennedy originally was involved in the, in the, anti, the, in the CIA's anti-Castro plots. Then the Cuban Missile Crisis came along, and in order to negotiate the withdrawal of um, Soviet missiles from the area, he had to promise the Soviet Union, we will not allow an invasion of Cuba to take place again, and the CIA will be muzzled. The CIA people were enraged at this because their whole agenda was to get rid of Castro. That's when the plot against uh, Kennedy reached a boiling point. They then began to attempt to conduct uh, a continuation of these covert CIA operations against Cuba. They had expeditionary forces that were taking off from the beaches of Florida and, um, uh, and, uh, and Louisiana. Kennedy tried to stop this. Ultimately, he instructed his brother, Robert, to instruct Hoover to arrest these rogue CIA operatives for violation of, of the Neutrality Act, and that is for conducting their own foreign policy. Six weeks later, Jack Kennedy was killed in Dallas. So that's the dynamic that led to that assassination. It was all related to Cuba and Vietnam and the Cold War and the military industrial complex and the money that comes from foreign investments, flight of capital, and, and the war profiteering. They wanted their money.